Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, today I want to try to fix um, this. Uh, it's the uh, air filter backing for a quantum engine that has the uh, primer built into it. And it's been a forever problem for me with warpage here. Um, when I did this engine, when I put this engine on, I had it all apart. And I put it all back together. It primed fine. I, I was able to start it up. But I didn't like the way it ran. It had this little miss in it. So I took, I took the cover off. You know, I took it all apart to get the carburetor off. Which... I cleaned out the carburetor and seemed to make no difference, first of all, so that was a waste of time. But then when I put it back together, it wouldn't prime. And I figured, you know, I'll try to put a new gasket on there and try it that way. I mean, I've had them where I doubled the gasket, and I'll show you that when we get to that part. And it would work, and sometimes it wouldn't work, and there's guys that put four gaskets on, and it still, still didn't work. And what I want to try to do today is try to fix this um, problem here. And I'm going to be using this one, this uh, cover, backing cover here. The other backing cover was off the other engine, which I, I tried that, and it still was the same thing. So, I'm gonna, right now what I'm going to do is the engine's cold. And you should be able to prime it like three to five times and it should start. And let's see if it doesn't start right now. I'll set up the camera and we'll try to start it. Okay, so let's give it a try and see what happens. I'm going to prime it like five times. I know it's not working because when these are working and the engine's running, you'll hear the RPM drop as soon as you start pumping this. That means the gas is going into the carburetor and it's priming. Nope, it's never going to start. Alright, I'll get set up and we'll take it apart. Okay, so let's get this apart. I have a couple of different ways I want to try to fix this. In case you're wondering, it's a 516 socket. I'm going to use it for all the bolts. I should get this thing out of the way, and I think I will. One method I'm going to try is I have the bolt here and I have a little washer I'm going to put on here. And now I have a bigger washer I'm going to put on here. Now I think I may have tried this once before but I don't really remember. So we're going to try doing it this way first. And I'll just do one at a time here. I think the problem is down below where it doesn't seal anymore.
if this works, that would be great. But then I have another idea that I'm not really crazy about doing. I need to uh, use some uh, gasket ma maker stuff. And you got to be really careful that you don't get it into the uh, channel from where it is primed. Otherwise, you clog the channel. Or if you get it in the carburetor, that's even worse. Somehow I don't think this is going to work, but we'll try it anyway, to begin with. I don't know what happens to these. I mean, I put the whole engine together in the first place, and it was fine, and it worked good. And then when I went to clean the carburetor, like I was telling you before, it was only off for about a half hour or so, and then it didn't work again. It's like crazy. So we'll just tighten this up really good and we'll try it again. I don't know if I'm damaging this thing or what. Seems like it's tightening up okay. It took a little while for it to tighten up though. There's a lip in there too, and I wonder if that lip gets uh, hung up where it goes around the carburetor. And now I'll just tighten this little, this other bolt up here. It's just like it does nothing bolt. I've had these to where they didn't work, and I took that one other bolt off. You know, not the bolt that goes through the carburetor, because there's two that go through the carburetor. And I took that bolt down, and then it worked. It's, a, it's like a weird thing, you know? You have to try, try different things to try to make it work again. All right, so I'm going to put the air cleaner cover back on, and I'll set the camera back up over there to where we're gonna, going to try to start it again. All right, so here we go again. Start it up and we'll see if that's working or not. Now once it starts, it'll probably start every time. So I'll have to try it again tomorrow. But I'm going to start it up and uh, keep pushing the primer to see if the engine will uh, pop down. See if it is working. And if it is working, that's great. But I don't think the deck, you know, I don't know. Sounds like it's working. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try to get tomorrow morning. That'll be in about a second for you. It's the next morning and it's about 45 degrees out. 
and I'm going to try to prime it. I'm going to prime it like five times and see what happens now. Just to show you, it's a cold engine. I put my hand on a muffler here, or the exhaust. And let's see what, see if anything happens here. Before I did, did this repair that I showed you with the washers, you could prime it 50 times and it still wouldn't start. Um, okay, so as I showed you, I put a new gasket on there and then I did the thing with the washers. I put those oversized, wa oversized washers on there. What you want to do is you want to try to find a washer that's not too flimsy. You know, uh, you know, so it has a little bit of thickness. So when you tighten it up, the washer doesn't, uh, the washer will seat good on there. And also, the washers that I used overlapped into the uh, carburetor throat. Don't worry about that. That really doesn't make any difference on the way the engine performs because it's only a little bit. So, I hope somebody got something out of, out of this. I know I did. And like I said before, I don't remember if I ever tried to use bigger washers to uh, fix the problem. And, and that's it. And I hope this helps somebody out. I can't guarantee it's going to work on every, every one. But it, it might sa save somebody from having to go out to buy a new primer base. So thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody on the next one.